Do you know how much water does an average person use every day? It is 80 gallons to 100 gallons per day. Let's look at the planet Earth. Nearly 70% of Earth's surface is covered by water. But less than 1% of all the water on Earth can be used by people. The rest is salt water found in oceans or fresh water in polar ice caps or not accessible for practical usage. Therefore, please use water wisely. When you think about a day with water, almost everything we do use water. For example, drinking, cooking, taking a shower, flushing the toilet, washing clothes and dishes, and lots other. At the same time, everything we use also requires water in its manufacturing process. This is called virtual water. Virtual water is water used in productions of goods and services we use. For example, if you take a dress that we wear requires water for the fabric production. An apple tree needs lots of water to give you an apple. Imagine a day without water. Can you live without any of the basic needs? If no water, the humans, animals, and plants cannot live. All the schools and offices need to shut down. No water means no life. The world's population is growing steadily. More and more people are using up this limited resource. Some places already face water shortages and the number of areas facing this issue has been growing. Currently around 750 million people do not have permanent access to clean water. How do we guarantee water in the future? Unfortunately, a single solution for a permanently secure water supply does not exist. Therefore, it is important that we use our water wisely and not waste it. Population growth is not the only reason why we need to use water wisely. Drought condition is also another reason. For example, in 2011, Texas and the surrounding states received less rainfall than the normal. In 2014 and 2015, California and the surrounding states received less rain than their average. Therefore, it is difficult to predict how much rain or snow we will get in the coming years. We need to use water wisely. So please do more with less water as much as you can. For save the place where we're living and save the planet, we need to use water wisely. How can we use water wisely? Following are the simple ways to save water. Number one, turn off the tap while brushing your teeth. Don't let all that water go down the drain while you brush. Turn off the tap after you wet your brush and leave it off until it's time to rinse. Just by turning off the tap while you brush your teeth in the morning and before bedtime, you can save up to 8 gallons of water. That adds up to more than 200 gallons a month. Number 2. Turn off the tap while washing your hands. Do you need all that water to run? while you're scrubbing your hands? Save a few gallons of water by turning the tab off after you wet your hands until you need to rinse. Number three, fix that leak. Fixing a toilet leak is the great way to reduce household water use and boost water conservation. If your toilet has a leak, you could be wasting about 200 gallons of water every day. That would be like flushing your toilet 
more than 50 times for no reason. Keep an eye on your bill to spot leaks. If your water bill spikes suddenly, there's a good chance of a leak. Call the plumber to check your lines to save water and cash. Number four, watering your yard early morning. Watering your yard first thing in the morning is a great first step to water efficient landscaping. Avoid watering your yard in the middle of the day. Watering when it's hot and sunny is wasteful because most of the water evaporates before the plants have time to drink it. Also, when you're helping your parents water the yard, make sure not to water the plants too much. Number five, take it to the car wash. Washing your bike or car with a bucket and sponge instead of a hose saves lots of water. A hose can waste up to six gallons of water per minute if you leave it running, but using a bucket and sponge only uses a few gallons. Some car washing places recycle water instead of letting it run down the sewer drains. If you want to wash your car, take it to the car wash that recycles water rather than washing it at home with a hose. Number six. Don't run until it's full. Don't run the dishwasher or washing machine until it's full. Those half loads add up to gallons and gallons of wasted water. Number seven, use less electricity. Power plants use thousands of gallons of water for cooling. Do your part to conserve power and you're indirectly saving water too. Number eight, take care of trees and plants. It's a good idea to put layers of mulch around trees and plants to reduce evaporation and keep the soil cool. Organic mulch also improves the soil and prevents rank weeds. Number nine, install a rain barrel if possible. Rainwater harvesting is a great way to keep your plants hydrated without turning on the hose or sprinkler. Number 10, drip irrigation. Drip irrigation helps to save a lot of water. Number 11, water recycling. Recycled water is another way to save water. Thank you.